In this video, we will walk through on how to create a function profile when F5 is inserted as a service with APIC. In order to create a function profile, right click on the function profile and create a profile group. Once the profile group is created, right click on the profile group and create a function profile. Give the function profile a name. Specify a profile, your device package version and the base profile. Click on all parameters and all features. This is a list of all the supported LTM parameters. Click on local traffic. Here you can specify the client SSL certs. Here is where you specify the fast L4. You can specify parameters related to the HTTP profile. You can specify if you would want to use HTTP redirect or not. Then we can specify the monitor to be used. We then move on to add the pool. We reference the pool monitor created above at this stage. We also specify the other parameters related to the pool. For more detailed explanation on each of the parameters, please go through the document that has a lot of details and even the user guide for the specific device package version that you are using. The pool type in this case we are using is dynamic, so we do not need to add any members to the pool. The iRule name that you would specify is a name that is already present on the big IP. Under the network tab is where you would define your internal as well as your external self IP. Your external self IP would be your consumer subnet and your internal self IP would be your provider subnet. A floating IP is used in the case of an high availability setup. In this case, we are demonstrating a standalone setup. You can add a SNAP pool IP address as well. This is all under the device config folder, all parameters that are specific to the device. Then we go on to function config, which are parameters relevant to the virtual server itself. Here we reference all the profiles that we created in the device config. The HTTP profile, we reference it from above, same for HTTP redirect and same for fast L4. We move on to the parameters associated with the virtual server. We can specify the snack pool. If we use the option as snack pool, then we would reference the snack pool we defined above, or we could use auto map or none as well. We define the other parameters like connection mirroring, persistence fallback, and persistence profile would be referencing a profile that is already present on the big IP. So it is assumed that the name of the profile is already present on the big IP before you enter it here. You can go ahead and specify other parameters related to the virtual server as needed.
then you would go to the network relations folder and reference the network that we defined above and the same for the pool. You could specify the EPG uh, connection limit and connection rate limit parameters. And in this case, the EPG destination port is needed when using dynamic endpoint attach. The similar referencing would happen for the I rule as well. This concludes on how to add a function profile. Now, the function profile created could then be used in your service graph template. And once you try to apply that service graph, it is then you would see that all the parameters that were defined in your function profile are already pre-filled and ready to be used. You do see the listener and the network folder in red. You just need to double click and update it. So this is how you create and use a function profile. We are now talking about on how to create a function profile for static endpoint. The initial few steps are the same on how to create a function group and a function profile. The difference would be while adding the parameters. In case of static, you would have to specify the pool members as well. You can click on the plus sign on the side of the folder whenever you need to add another folder of the same type. And here you would choose the pool type as static instead of dynamic. This concludes the usage of the function profile. Thank you.